uh, I'm not getting emotional about this issue because I just it's horrible. But uh, but so you, you know, cry over it's, nothing, it's like kids. Ah! And who was the other person crying? I can't deal with it anymore. I cannot. I cannot stand. My biggest pet peeve are people who do drama. I loathe it. Welcome back to the show. Dana Lash here with you, your lovable curmudgeon. I like I like when people are overly dramatic on Facebook. I'm like, geez, Manutley, stop it. Or on Twitter or somewhere else, and they go on and on and on and on and on about stuff. I just, just stop. I cannot deal with it. With politicians and people who are in D.C. Who was the person who cried about it? the other? Who was crying the other day? We made fun of them. Oh, my gosh, that one broad. The 43-year-old. She lied about her age again, apparently. She's not in her late 30s. She's in her 40s. Taylor Lorenz. So I, I, she was the one who was crying. And I don't get it. Why is Jen Psaki crying here? Why? She's convinced herself that these kids are the victims of parental rights. Who is she to pass judgment on how someone else is parenting? Who is this broad to pass judgment on how someone else is parenting? That's what leftists do. You know, because she's uh, she has eons of experience parenting, or she's all up in everyone else's business parenting. Do you see, this is the difference between the right and the left. I don't care. As long as you're not abusing your children... Which then I'll come at you, but I don't. I'm not going to get in your business because I don't care. I'm busy. Can you busy man? Busy. You're busy man. You got busy man things to do, don't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people. Steve is busy. He's Billy. He, you were grilling, weren't you? Didn't you? Was that the thing you sent me a picture of something you grilled? You were busy grilling. Uh, yeah, big old T-bone came out perfect. See, look, he's busy doing perfect T-bones. He don't got time for this. None of us do. So I'm just saying, who is this person to sit here and pass judgment on how we're all parenting? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Kane, I'm just going to come out and say I think we're probably better parents. I know I am. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm really snotty about it. My kids are wonderful. I just why I just don't understand why she's crying. She's like freaking out and crying over something that they get so worked up over things that aren't even real. You know what I mean? She's talking about. Parental rights and education. Again, guys, it literally just says that parents need to be notified and their consent should be obtained before they start telling kindergartners through fifth graders about graphic sex. Okay? That's it. And these people on the left are infuriated over this. So, wait, are these people on the left okay with me coming in and teaching all their kids about guns? Dana's gun class. And do you know what we'll use as our one st- our main story as to what not to do? Uh, Alec Baldwin. Mm-hmm. Just saying. They would freak out if their kids were getting taught about firearms in the school. Oh, yeah, my god! What if Sally asked the teacher, are guns fun? Then what? The teacher would have to tell them how fun guns are. Imagine a hunter's education course. You remember those? Did you? You had those in school when you were younger. Steve, let me ask you this. Did you have hunter's education? Did you have that offered in your school? Not in Virginia, didn't. See, I would be like, in Virginia? You would, right? Because Virginia is not Manhattan. I, I mean, aside from, you know, like Richmond and all of that, I mean, more populated areas, it's closer to D.C., but really, Virginia is like a beautiful, more rural area. I'm kind of shocked that they wouldn't for Virginia. I, we had Hunter's Education, Hunter's Safety. We had that in our class. Now, if you wanted to take the test and get your Hunter's light, your little junior license, you could. I did that. You could, in junior high, I think I was in seventh grade or eighth grade, I can't remember. And you could take that little test and do it. I got a little uh, Hunter's orange pin and everything. And it literally was about being safe. And it was all about safety. It wasn't like, now here's how you go out and you kill you a bunch of deer. Get, get, get. It wasn't that. It was, this is how you do everything safely. I'm just, you know. It amazes me. If you were to do that in schools, oh my gosh. So all these parents that are all right that, you know, with with teaching kids and reading kids books about graphic penetrative intercourse. I I mean, you ought to look at some of the materials. You're all right with me doing Hunter's education in your kids' classes, right? 
Let's go on a field trip to the range, kids. They would lose their minds. I can hear it. I don't even have to imagine it. Oh, my gosh. Same people. Well, you saw it. We, we already saw that. They freaked out over SROs. They freaked out over that. You know how they would react. Jeez. I just don't know. Why is she crying? I just, I'm gonna have, why is she crying? That doesn't make sense to me. See, people don't respond to this. They do not, they just don't respond to it.